the basis of what we see as a positive movement against anything that you mentioned is basically to be in some kind of organized developing structure, some kind of organization, you know, first of all, some kind of organized response that can mobilize the people around that incident. But unfortunately, in our system, in the system that we live in, there will be 11-year-old boy shot next week. There will be like a 13-year-old girl shot the week after that. Now, if we don't have some kind of organized structure that can struggle from day to day to mobilize people around these various issues, then begin to organize them and politicize them, then just showing up in front of the police station to say right on and go for some, as you say, heavier stuff, is like really a kind of form of kind of uh, uh, adventurism because it doesn't lead to no consistent buildup of political force. No response, Sister? No, yeah. I'm sorry. Now, I wanted to respond just briefly to that, um, that question that the brother had raised. But I think that the, the type of organization that we're talking about is of the utmost importance. And that is that I think that often people think of an organization as a group of individuals who have come together on an issue that has emotionally charged the black community. And they think that this, in fact, is an organization, and with that organization that they're going to resolve some of the real questions and real concerns that face black people within the black community. And so when we speak of organization, I think we should be clear that what we should be talking about is an organized group of people with an ideology, with objectives, that do not simply come together because an issue seems to be hot within the community, but because they come together on the basis of understanding that through uniting their constituencies, that they can work on programs that on a long-term basis, on long-term basis, have something to do with influencing those particular concerns that otherwise they would be coming together uh, on some kind of spontaneous basis. So when we talk about that, I think it's very important to clarify the kind of organization and the political commitment of those who are, are serious about trying to transform the reality of our people. And that particular commitment has to be to begin to create the kind of organization that struggles on an everyday basis with those particular issues within the black community and has as their understanding that, that any particular issue that they approach within the black community has to be analyzed not only on the local level, not only on the national level, but it has to be analyzed on the international level and in the final analysis, that person has to understand his character in terms of his national character, because if he does not understand that in the final analysis, then every action in which he is involved in the community is of to no avail in terms of his total and, and eventual uh, freedom as a, per as a people.